Where are you going? Stop mumbling. No, you're not. There we go. <laughs> go. Yeah, you need the you need the link. But if you go into Facebook, you can start a watch party if it hasn't. I think no volume, Don. Watch now, so long with Sue. The microphone's off, right? Yep. You should put it, the picture on it. Click on watch party. thought it would do it. That was a real hot trick with the woman. What's some copy? <laughs> Didn't bring the mouse. The mouse for what? On Mac. Control. I want like command. Shift. Control C. Copy and paste. Command. I thought you were getting your iPad. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bring them up. Yeah, you do your thing and stop talking about it because yep. it stresses me out because it's not working. <clears throat> so if y'all wouldn't mind.
Can everyone hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh, the intro played twice, dear. I, I know. I'm sorry. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, it's still playing, Don. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to transition over. Okay, we're so good. we're good. So. I got my coffee. We're good. Okay, Don requires a little more coffee. So, <laughs> hi, everyone. Hi. Let us know where you're from. My name is Sue, and I am from OML Embroidery. And uh, we're going to do a sew along and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Before we start, we have some fabrics to choose from. We have some uh, really cool thread to choose from. And this is what we're going to be doing. Um, can everyone hear me OK? Yes. Yes. We're all good. good to me so far. OK, Don can hear me. Um, why did that flicker like that? That, that was a transition thing. I fixed it. OK. He fixed it. I am not going to worry about the technical stuff. Don is going to be doing that. I am just going to be doing this. So, okay. So, hello, Tennessee. And message retracted. Okay. <laughs> Coming from Marcia. Cool. Hello, hello. Yes, we see that. Hello, hello. Is a Karina Polson in the house? Karina? Oh, Jacqueline Smith. Hi from UK. That's awesome. Hello from UK. Hopefully we picked a decent time for everyone. It's hard to figure out a time that's good or almost good for everyone. So sorry about that if it didn't work. But you can always do the rewatch, right? Um, Essex, UK, Wyoming, Gainesville, Florida. Woohoo. I bet you it's nice there. That's awesome. So, okay, I'm going to move along. I'm going to announce some winners that we have. So the first winner is for um, participation. And this person, this is what she's going to win. What? Nothing. Okay, shush back there. Yeah. Um, this person is going to win this. And she participates on the YouTube channel where it counts. And it's awesome. And it's Brenda Miller. So congratulations, Brenda Miller. I know she'll be watching this. <laughs> She's not able to watch right now live. But she'll be watching this on the rerun. So surprise, Brenda. See, there you go. So Brenda Miller, Mix and Match Quilting. Awesome. So that's one. And then we had this set, if you remember, on a video. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. So Authentic Americana, Bountiful Harvest, Green Treasures. Now, I didn't forget about this, but I was hoping for a lot uh, more activity on the video. There was only like 130 comments. So I was kind of holding off to get a little more action because that's what I want out of these, some action. So the winners for this is Patricia Bowman, Gail Hardick, and Joanne McCoskery. And those are randomly selected from the comments and the likes. And you guys are going to win this. So if I called your name, send me an email. Um, so Patricia Bowman will get the choice of which one she likes best. And then Gail will get second choice. And Joanne will get what she gets. So that's how we're going to do it. So awesome, you guys. Congratulations. So send an email to sue at omlembroidery.com. And of course, we need your addresses too. That goes for Brenda Miller as well. So we need your address and let me know and we'll figure this out. And there's one more. Where is it, Don? The name. This here, you told me to leave it here. No, no. I need it. All right. So this one is a really good one. And it is Abby Hamblin. And the cool part about it is I, in one of the videos, Close to the end, I said bonus points for anyone who knows bow ties are cool and where it's from. And Abby was the only one that answered, and it's from 
Doctor Who, <laughs> the 11th Doctor, she was even that pre precise. So yeah, I appreciate the nerdiness. So Abby, for watching that and answering, um, send me an email and you will win in a need a good design um, collection of your choice. So send me an email at sue at omlembroidery.com with the five like just pick five ones, five collections, uh, obviously not the new ones. I, I don't have extras of those, but try to pick five and uh, we'll send you the top one. We'll send you what we have. Um, so congratulations, Abby. Thanks for knowing bow ties are cool. It's awesome. All right. Hey, so before you start, you might want to make mention to the title because apparently the YouTube stuff didn't stick. Oh, well, that's annoying. Just so they're not confused, because that's what I was all about before. Uh, I spent like an hour setting that up yesterday. Yeah, well, it didn't stick for some reason. I'm not sure. Oh, well, glitchy, glitchy. So, San Antonio, Texas, uh, Netherlands, and let's see. We're all awake. It's three or five. Oh, so it's a good time in the UK. Okay, that works and Kentucky. All right, so we've done the awards. Congratulations to everyone. And now why don't we get started on our gorgeous bookmark? I never showed you guys the back of it. I thought it was pretty fancy. The, oh, I forgot to turn my watch off. Oh, well, ding, ding. So the first thing we have to decide is the background fabric. And I, I wondered about these ones, but I kind of think it might be too big, the ghosts. So let me know what you think of that. The pumpkins, maybe. I really like the bones and I like the colors because then all this black and orange is gonna show up delightfully. And of course the orange just means we'll probably have to change this to like a purple or something. So one, two, three, four. Let me know which one you guys want to do. And then we'll pick our thread after that. Bones, yes. Brenda Kaiser says bones, yes. Bones are cool. Yeah, I, I love the print. I thought it was awesome. So bones, that's so far, bones. Bones are orange, Sonia says. I mean, the orange with purple writing, that would be cool. So. All right, it's between these ones. Just let me. Dem bones. Dem bones. Well, I just thought it might look fantastic. We could always use one of these for the background, the back part of it. So let me get rid of that. So it's between the orange and the bones. Dem bones. Dem bones. Isn't that cool? Bones, bones, bones. All right, I am going to say, oh, Karina. Oh, man, I fell asleep. Well, wakey, wakey. <laughs> Good morning, Karina. Is the Norseman in the house? Calling the Norseman. Hello, Norseman, are you in the house? <laughs> I'm sure he'll laugh. That's Karina's husband. And we joke around a little bit. So orange, orange, orange. Orange. Okay, a lot of people are saying orange. I was going to say that the bones have it, but you know what? It might be orange. Mm. Bones, what do you think? we got to figure out how to do a pull. So orange? Bright orange? It looks like a... Bones on the back. All right, so orange. Orange and bones on the back. All right, deal. Okay, so let's leave this. We'll leave this so I can see it. So this is the color. This is my awesome, exquisite thread box. Now I already have the black out and we're gonna look here. Let's see. So we need, just for the writing, so we could do, well, we can do anything that we want. We could do the green. I don't think the orange will stand out enough. Purple, this is a gorgeous purple. 
that green is dark. That's kind of a lighter purple, but I like the darker. Or we could do like a bright yellow. Bright yellow. So let me know what you guys think. That one's called Sunflower. This is what I like about these. Look, the color is there and the name is there. It's so awesome. It's so awesome. So what are we saying? What kind of dog do you have? We have two wiener dogs named Gallifrey and Odie. And we also have a rescue dog. And he is, his name is Beetlejuice. And he is a beagle bloodhound mix. So he's basically one big tracking nose. And he's the sweetest thing. So hopefully they're going to be quiet. We don't have any kids around here. So, so purple. <coughs> Excuse me there. Purple looks nice. Purple looks nice. I think it'll stand out really well for the happy Halloween part and for the outside part. So, okay, purple. I'm a going with that. So let me pop my thread off of my desk and out of my way so I don't trip on it. How cool is that? Let me unwrap it. I had an idea of this. This is neon thread, but I don't... Sorry, that price sounds terrible, doesn't it? Sorry. Oh, I do have one more thing to show you guys. I almost forgot because we have to start a new contest. And this is an upcoming video, but I wanted to show it to you guys to see what you think. I have to do... Obviously, I have to do the edges. I haven't done the edges yet. But uh, what do you guys think? And this is the design. So Heirloom Centerpiece Mini Collection. It's awesome. 12 different designs in three sizes. Designs fit hoop size 7 by 12 and larger. So they're big squares. Big squares. 7 by, yeah, it does say that. I'm pretty sure I did this in the 8x8. So I guess that's 7 by 12 and larger. Okay, so this is what I did with it. And I love it. <coughs> and this is from a layer cake. And you notice the cutouts. Isn't that stunning? I still, I still have to fix it up. Pretty. So this is the contest. This is what you guys can win from this video. So, um, someone said Ziba. So he's like Beagle Juice. Yeah, we we actually take him to the dog park all the time because he's a, a hunting dog. So he has a lot of energy. Most people don't realize that. And we call Beetle Beetle or we call Beagle Beagle. And people look at us. You, you named your dog the breed. Well, he answers to it. He's happy. So it's uh it's awesome so this is what we're gonna win so hmm how are we gonna do the contest eh, whoever's here um can win it so we'll just pick someone who participates in the comments and you know participates in the in the channel as well um we'll we'll send this out to you so this we'll try to do this every week if it gets enough attention and uh, we'll give away some stuff. So the video on this will be up next week. I didn't finish it yet. So, okay. So that's the contest. Woo! -hoo. All right. So for this, we need our fabric. And I'm just uh, not going to iron it because, you know, I don't iron it. And because I have a lovely layer cake in pre-cut fabric just gonna slice it in half and have a piece there we go so that's pretty much all you need there 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 and if you have a little bit of ribbon which I didn't grab you can I'll tell you when hopefully to put it in there and uh, we're ready to go so I am gonna switch cameras and we are gonna go to McDreamy my brother dream machine so it should just flicker a little bit all right, and I'm loading up the purple. So are we on? It just says no sing signal. I'm sorry, that's how this works. Are we on? Yep. Okay, that was kind of slow. So five by seven hoop, and I have hooped some water-soluble stabilizer. 
for, for those that don't have 5x7, there was 4x4 four four available. There was, okay. yeah. Don made a 4x4. Four four. So I'd like to point out to everyone, see this here? See this here? This is a needle. And it's on every single embroidery machine. So if you have a $10 embroidery machine or if you have, you know, a more expensive McDreamy, the needle goes up and down the same way. So you can accomplish anything that I do with any machine. It The needle goes up and down the same way on yours and on mine. Just saying. So, okay, I, because I always forget to change the bobbin for the outside part, I put it in already. So when you put the back on and we're doing that lovely satin stitch, that's when you need to change your thread. But I pre-wound a black and just because I always forget. So there we go. How's the view? Everyone like the view? Let's see. LOL. I have a yellow nab lab named Sir Isaac Newton, but I call him Stinky. Well, that's a big difference. Beagle gets called Stinky uh, once in a while. Our wiener dog's name was Sooner. He'd sooner eat and sleep more than anything. Yeah, no kidding. Gallifrey's a little bit of a porky dude. He likes to eat. He likes to eat. Okay, so the first step on this is just a placement line so we know where to put everything. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch that. And we'll see. Just a placement line, just so we know how big. And if you're doing the 4x4, four four, it's going to be exactly the same. <gasps> Sorry, I was just grabbing something. Looking good. Looking good, Mr. McDreamy. All right. So the next step, all right, thank you. McDreamy's gonna sing his tune. The next step is gonna be to tack it down, tack everything down. So I'm just doing a little bit of spray off on the side to hold everything, cause I'm just gonna do it a twofer here. And I'm just gonna go like this and make a little sandwich because I forgot to iron or I just didn't want to iron. And I'm going to pull up my hoop so you guys can see it a little bit better. And hopefully not bump the camera. So I'm just going to lay it over top. No big deal. Easy peasy. And I have my stabilizer. And that's my super thick stabilizer. So there you go. And... Oh, yeah? Okay, I need more caffeine. <laughs> it's quilt batting, not stabilizer. Stabilizers is in the hoop. Is your caffeine over there? You stop it. I have mine. You stop it. <laughs> uh, I wish that view was a little bit better. So, okay. So, sorry. <laughs> Karina, getting my machine ready to stitch along with you. Thank you. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, All right. Is, is everybody ready? Do we need to wait a second? Yeah, I don't know how many people are actually stitching. And if you're not, you know what? That's fine. You can always... Pause the video if you're not. Well, yeah, and watch it later. It's not going anywhere. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on. So we're going to stitch this down. And this part is just, you know, basically a tack down stitch. And it's just going to hold everything down. My uh, stitches look a little crappy. I could have moved it over a little bit. Let's see if they tighten up. Come on, McDreamy. No, they're fine. And it's going to do it twice because we want it to hold down nicely. Yeah, uh, it might be having a tension problem. We'll see if it uh, resolves. I might just change the bobbin and see if that's it. Do, 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 do. Thanks, McDreamy. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to switch over the camera so we can cut it out. And we'll look at our stitches as well. Yeah, I seem to be a little loose. So you know what? I'm going to change the bobbin. Maybe it didn't wind right or something. Whoops. I sent it flying. So let me just do that. Give me a sec. I'm just going to change over to white, pre-wound white. 
and I'm not going to worry about the back of it too much. There we go. All right. Now for this, we need our applique scissors, which I don't have. Hold on. Now we do. Not a, now I do. So yeah, what I'm looking at here is see how my thread is loopy there. Yeah, not cool. Now you can cut them both out at the same time, but I have really thick batting. See, I said it right that time, Don. Don, he's on a delay what? over there. I said batting, not stabilizer. You said it right this time? Yeah. It's hot in this studio-ish place with all the lights. So just take little snips. And if you have, you know, normal stabilizer, feel free to do both at the same stabilizer. I did it again! Batting. It's batting. If you have normal batting, you can do it all at once. I just find, for me, that the stuff is so thick it kind of... I don't make a nice enough cut. So that's done. That's kind of wobbly there. Take your time. The neater you do this, the better the end result is going to be. So let's do the thick stabilizer. And I will literally take my time on this. I like the nice covered crisp edges. That's to me, that's what makes it. See, I did pretty well on there. Try not to go over the stitches like that. Can you see that right there? I kind of cut out the stitches. We're going to be doing a nice zigzag stitch to hold everything down. But when you do that, let me show you guys close up. Right, right there is what I'm talking about. When you do that, you have the chance of it getting caught and making a wrinkle or whatever. So try not to do it. I'm just going to wing it and see how we do. There we go. Everything good, Don? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a happy? Oh, see, I did again. Wow. Yeah, okay, so I'm a little off today, so never you mind. So, yeah. All right, that's good. Let's switch it and go back to the machine. <laughs> and I dropped the black bobbin. Did you hear it? Back to the machine, and now we are going to stitch the zigzag. So let's us do that and hopefully catch our pieces down properly. Yep. Perfection. Ah, I love that. The zigzag stitch, you can see here, it's going to hold everything down. So even though I made boo-boos, which I do, apparently my trimming is a little bit off today. Did you answer where you get your vibrant materials? Vibrant materials. No, I haven't looked yet. Vibrant materials. Okay, so Halloween ma materials are fantastic. And what I do is I buy a layer cake, a charm square, and then fat quarters for something I like, like this Halloween. And I get them from, it used to be called craftsy.com and now it's Blueprint. And you can get some sweet deals on it. And I bought these last year and I'm telling you, I love having the layer cakes. It's amazing to me because you can pick different things and it's all there. Okay, so we are now stitching out the black which is all the shadow cool decoration. So we'll chat about fabric as we watch this stitch out, which is cool. Woo, you can hear McDreamy gearing up there. I love my brother Dream Machine, it's awesome. Hopefully you guys can hear me well enough. Inspiring me to do some stitching today. Yes, be inspired. Oh, that's a great view. That's my needle cam view. Ooh, it's a little vibrating. Yeah, we'll huh. Maybe if I hold it. Now oh, yeah. we'll have to work on that. Uh, 
They're always so beautiful. Yeah, I love the fabric that I use. Um, the layer cakes, they're 10 by 10, and that seems to work for most things, and I love it. I love it. And the scissors are just regular duckbill scissors. Right here, duckbill scissors. And they need to be cleaned, but I use them all the time. And you can get them sharpened if you need. So, what pre-wound bobbins do I use? What do we use, Don? Don buys them for me. Don uses the MagnaGlide ones. Um, now remember McDreamy, the Dream Machine, and probably the Luminaire and other ones um, have a different size of bobbin. So you have to make sure you have the right size. The McDreamy ones are a little bit bigger. No, that's for Ragnar. Oh, Hands off my stuff, man. <laughs> Don likes, Don likes to raid stuff when he's doing things. He's, he comes up and he just kind of looks and I'll be busy and he'll steal something. And I'm like, really? 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 Sunny Arizona. Wow. Duckbill scissors, Betty Wheat. Duckbill scissors are awesome. They really help. So woo, we got our haunted house done. So Don designed this, and if you're wondering, this is a, a relatively quick stitch. And he did the, I don't know why the, oh, it is, yes. He did the stitches here a little bit light, so the background shows through a little bit, and I like that. Uh oh McDreamy. This is the fun of life, right? Things happen. Oh, and it's very awkward around the camera. Jeebus. You're doing a good job. Thank you. It's just awkward. I keep Maybe bumping it. A little bit of tension issue. It seems to be okay. I'm sure it was the bobbin. Okay. It seems a little bit loose, so yeah, I might be having tension problems. I probably need to clean McDreamy. So I'm just going to back it up a little bit and go why is the camera flashing there don do you know it's only on one camera how annoying sorry guys there we go how can i get the design you can go into the oml embroidery facebook uh sorry university facebook group and it's in the files section and there's a five by seven and there is a four by four as well. So Karina says getting there almost where you are in the stitching. So yep. Yay, Karina. Awesome. Sorry about the flashing camera. We'll have to figure out why it does that. It didn't do it yesterday when I used it. Go. No, no. No, I think the orange background is fantastic. I think I'm liking it. I am gonna prepare. We said bones on the back, right? Yeah. Lengthway bones. Yeah, cause we love the bones. I would like to do something more with the bones ones. I'm not sure what I wanna do, but I don't know. Don, can you go to OML Embroidery University because there's people who want in? Probably to get the files so they can stitch along with us. There we go. I just see it coming up. <coughs> there's like eight people who want to join. And Zeba's one of them. I see that. All right, Zeba, Don is going to let you in. Isn't that pretty? So I like... The tree is probably my favorite part of this design. I think it's, um, I don't know why Halloween trees makes me so happy. Or even Halloween, but I like it. I like it. And doing bookmarks too. My kids love seasonal bookmarks. And it's a whole lot of fun to do. So, there we go. So... It's sunny but freezing. 
I don't know. What are we having? Oh, hi, Cindy King. She she said, I got lost finding y'all. I'm binding a quilt and listening. Well, thanks for listening. That's awesome. We always appreciate Cindy King's enthusiasm. She is awesome. Yep. So Don let everyone in who was asking. Yes, Cindy King. She sends emojis. Sending her love. So you can get into the Facebook group and get the files. And Don bundled everything together. So if you're looking for the 4x4, it's all together. So. Um, okay, so I think I did a video on actual unzipping, but for Facebook, we have to load the file as a Z or Z I P P file, which your computer says it's nothing. So what you do is you right click and you go rename and you take the second P off. So it's going to read Z or Z I P. So only one P. And once you do that, then your computer recognizes it and then you can unzip it and extract it and then there we go why is the live call yeah i know karina we i spent an hour setting everything up yesterday because it does take a long time to set it up and uh apparently youtube says nope i'm gonna use the last one that you used even though you spent a lot of time setting it up so sorry about that sorry about that yeah thanks youtube that was awesome for all the work we did, that's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, well. We have 53 people watching. 53 people! Well, wahoo! That's awesome. That makes me so happy. Awesome on a Saturday morning. That's awesome. Maybe we've picked a good time. So, let me ask you guys. Um, oh, wait. I have a question. Abby! Oh, Abby! Did you watch the beginning of it? Abby, 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 Abby. Let me show you this stick. Oh no, over here. Sticker here. Woohoo. Abby, you won. You won a uh, Anita Good Design design of your choice as long as I have it for answering the question about bow ties are cool. You were the only one that answered it, so we're going to award you a prize. So, what I want you to do, Abby, is send me an email at sue at omlembroidery.com uh, and let me know your five top picks. Um, and if I have them, I will send you the top pick. So, yes, Abby watched the video and it was close to the end so she watched the whole video which is what i need you guys to do on youtube and uh voila you win so uh yeah you can do something really cool and uh we'll send it out to you and more spread the anita good design love so congratulations there oh yeah nice that's our needle cam view i love it yeah, well, you know, we're always a work in progress. Abby says, yeah, thank you so much. Well, thank you for knowing Doctor Who and the 11th Doctor. I was duly impressed. That's awesome. We're Doctor Who people uh, here in this house because we're a bunch of nerds. <laughs> oh, I also miss the stabilizer use. It is water-soluble stabilizer, so you can have nice edges. See my nice edges? and everything shows up better. So water soluble and I am using uh, the fabric type because it's a little bit thicker and it works a little bit better. Stiffener, no, you can uh, if you wanted to. I find it's probably stiff enough and with just the batting, but I have thick batting. So that might make the difference. Beverly Potter. So now I must... Oh, I'm sorry. You were waiting for the link. Uh, we always start on time. What? I think it's YouTube that kind of messed up the whole thing because 
I had it set up with a link, and today it says OML Embroidery Desi Live, and need a good design. So. Yeah, if you are subscribed to the channel, which if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. And there's a little bell. And if you click on the bell, you will get notifications every time we go live and every time I put up a video. And I find that extremely helpful. So it's, um, it's awesome. Then you get a reminder. You can, uh, that's what I did, which I was, you know what? My reminder didn't come up. So thanks YouTube. That's awesome. We'll figure out what went wrong and we'll fix it. So sorry. Rachel says, oh, it looks like my kind of quick last minute projects. Thank you. Love this time too. Well, we love doing the lives and we are going to make this a regular weekly thing, same time, same place, and a different project. Um, Don, do you have at my desk there the what we're going to do for next week? Because we can give you a sneak preview for the people watching. So, Oh, one is good. We'll just give them a quick sneak peek. So we are going to make patches next week, and this is what we have see how well we can see it it's a, a ghost card patch it looks good. yeah so it looks good you can see it yeah is that cool so that's all you get but that's what we're going to be doing next week isn't that would be fun so okay sandra says my first time live i love this yeah me too i actually have a lot of fun i joke because it's live and i don't have to edit it which is awesome <laughs> Uh, Betty Wheat. Yay, you guys are awesome. I know where I'll be every Saturday. Yup. Yup. Let's have fun. So we're going to come up with something free and awesome uh, just about every week that we can do on a stitch along. And of course, for people, uh, there's a lot of ways you can win the Anita Good Design designs. So one way to win is enter a contest by, you know, it's not really a contest. It's a giveaway. I have to be careful. I have to be careful what I say because YouTube doesn't like certain things. I can hear you. <laughs> I was whispering. I was whispering to everyone. So you can comment to enter. You can support us in many ways. And it's all free, so it's just going to take a little bit of your time. And what we need is for you guys to watch the videos, uh, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to click the bell, like and comment. Because the more you guys do that, the bigger the channel is going to get and the more that YouTube is going to put us out there. And that's my goal. I want 100,000 subscribers that's that's what i want out of it that's what this mission is about so we'll keep having fun you guys keep helping us and we will provide you with awesome awesome embroidery so i think we're just about done here this is uh we're moving yes you can always watch it after okay so the next thing to stitch out is the moon and I'm going to skip it. And I'm going to skip it because I like the swirls and the stars, how they, how they hey. look in the, hey. how they look in the, I can skip it if I want. Hey. Hey. So, I mean, that's fine. Oh, by the way, one of the, uh, traditions, Don and I have been doing live videos nope. for a lot of, nope. oh, nope. and, uh, you guys are allowed and expected to give Don a hard time. This is a long-standing tradition, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so, yes, give him a hard time. So if you are going to miss one of the lives, don't worry. The files will always be in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group, and the video will always be on YouTube. So you can play catch-up. It's not quite as much fun, but it is fun. You can still do everything. So I'm going to skip the moon regardless of what Don thinks. So I'm just going to fast forward to the next thing, which is... No, I went the wrong way. Whoops. 
There we go. Which is our lettering? And I need to switch to purple. Let's do some purple. Remember, when you are threading your embroidery machine, you need to pull the thread out in the direction that it's going. If you pull it out from the top, which seems like a lot easier to do, if you do it that way, you risk messing with the tensioners. And we don't want that. So make sure you pull it out the same way. I'm having sticker troubles right there. All right, uh -huh. good to go. Don't ha ha me. <laughs> What's the matter hey, with you, he Don? Tells everybody to pick on me, so well, I get to pick everyone on Everyone should pick on you. No. It's our tradition. No. It's how I get to have fun on That's a Saturday only morning. I'm backup today. Oh, no, no Norseman? I haven't seen him yet. Oh, oh. Well, there we go. All right, we got purple going on. So let's stitch out the creepy lettering of Happy Halloween. So, okay. Uh, is there batting under the fabric? Yes. I missed the beginning. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Batting. And my batting is kind of thick. Just that's all we can get around here. It would be too thin. Well, it would be too, it would be a floppy two pieces of fabric. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, if you have, I know everyone has a stash of stabilizer. And if you have cutaway stabilizer that is really thick and really stiff, you could use that as well in between. And it would make a stiffer one. I don't use any stiffener or anything, but I have some cutaway that is just, I don't know. It seems hulkish in nature. <laughs> Thank you for the thread pulling tip. I'm guilty of pulling it from the top. I'm tempted a lot of times, but I know that you can't do that. It affects the tensioners are set to go one way. And if you pull it back the other way, you might like disturb them. So yeah, always pull from the bottom. You always have, I keep a little jar for my thread ends and that's fine. I think I know why I have a problem. All right, I gotta stop here. Hold on. What'd you do? Do you see that monofilament thread? I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, how did you get that? Well, I was using it. Oh. So this is my tension problem, and you know what? I'm gonna leave it for now so we can finish the live, but I'm gonna have to fix that. That is why I was having the tension problems, and I still am. So that's why. So I had uh, monofilament thread caught in my machine, and I couldn't see it. So I was paying attention, though, and I finally saw it. So, okay, let me look at more questions. Oh, it might have saved me. In, yeah, probably, you know, Betty, probably. It, it makes sense, though, doesn't it? You pull it in the direction that the thread is going. To me, it makes perfect sense. Um, and I always, um, you know, with my brother Dream Machine, I just love my brother Dream Machine. And I always find that it's helpful. And I keep them, I've had them, how long have I had McDreamy? Like a year? Two years? And he is still in fantastic condition. So, yeah, it's just a tip thing, you know. My dealer told me it was okay to pull thread backwards. Yeah. I don't most any time I've ever heard they say pull it through pull it back. Oh, dealers have different ideas. It's not it's not a huge deal. You can uh, you know Yeah, the manufacturer in the in the book it says do it. Okay, so I have figured out McDreamy's problems, so we will work on that after. It's stitching okay for now, but if you see I have a tension problem, we know what it is now. That nasty monofilament thread. Okay, so Happy Halloween looks absolutely fantastic. It looks happy. It, it does. So in this point, we're just gonna put, and I'm not gonna bother switching cameras for this because it's not gonna take much we are going to put the backing on it. 
And all I'm doing, and I'll show you guys. Oh, yeah, I can see. Woo, I can see. And all you want to do is put the fabric down. And you want to have it. This is the bottom. My hoop's upside down. And you want to have the fabric facing out. And we decided at the beginning that we would do um, bones on the back. So I put a little bit of spray. You can put tape. McDreamy detests it when I use tape. He gets really mad. He likes to catch it all the time. It, he does. <laughs> so I try to avoid it with him. I use it on my 10 needle. But uh, McDreamy says, really? That's all he says. Really? I'm going to eat it because I'm hungry. So I tend not to use it. So the first part of this is just a uh, tack down stitch and it's just going to hold the fabric in place and then we can trim the background of it. Now I left it purple and I might leave it purple. There we go. So this is just sewing on basically sewing on the background fabric which is a dem bones which we thought was awesome and it's going to secure it nicely and then I'm just going to quickly trim it out. So there we go, second time around. Awesome. Awesome. Love the bones. Yeah, I know. I really actually want to do something cool with the bones. I'm not sure if I brought, bought any fat quarters. I don't know. That's from a different set. It was from... It's Riley Blake. So, and I can't remember where it's from. Okay, so I am going to switch cameras. Boop. Because we're going to trim. There we go. Did it switch? Yeah, it's switching. Yeah. So we're looking good. You can see my tension problems. It's still going to work out for now, but they do. See, here we go. Do you see the tension problems right there? Yep, yeah, time for cleaning. Yeah, and I know what it is. So if your machine does this, see how loopy it is and... It's not as neat as it could be. If you look from the 10 needle to this one, you can see I have tension problems. Hmm. So we'll be fixing that after. If I was just, you know, stitching and doing my thing on a regular day, I would have stopped right at the beginning when I noticed there was a tension problem. I would have stopped the machine and then I would have fixed it and tested it. But seeing how we're live, we're not going to do that. So I kept stitching. So I'm just saying what I would do. Yeah, hmm. but at least I know what it is. And it's an easy fix. All right. So other than a few tension problems, we are looking good. I love Dem Bones on Dem the back. Bones. Them bones are awesome. So let's switch back to the machine and we're going to finish this off. So here we go. Now I am going to make a change on the fly. Oh, Beetlejuice is up. Uh, I'll take care of you. Okay, Beetlejuice. He's a good boy. He's my good rescue boy. Come on, Juice. He was, uh, we took him to the dog park yesterday and uh he was so tired he just went back to bed today and he's just getting up what time is it oh yeah 11 o'clock great job beetlejuice like yeah he's like a teenager so i'm gonna make a change on the fly and i'm gonna stitch the outside in purple because i kind of think it would look awesome What size is my hoop? Yeah. This is a five by seven hoop. Five by you, seven. Do you have monofilament stuck in there again? Still. Okay. Yeah. Because I just caught it on the screen. I was trying to get it out, but. Like I said, if I was just working normally, I would absolutely have stopped when I said at the beginning I said oh I seem to have a tension problem and I changed the bobbin I would have done tests to you know see if that was going to be fixable or whatever but because we're live I just kept on stitching I don't recommend it though I don't recommend it 
This is so cool. I'm stitching along with you. That's awesome, Karina. Thank you for stitching along. Karina. Well, yeah. Karina has, um, she's going to be doing some projects for her. I'm going to send her some really cool, I need a good design stuff that she's going to stitch out and sew together. Uh, like the, it's a gingerbread house and the Anitaville Horror, which are amazing. I'm not good enough at sewing and I found it frustrating. So Karina's going to do it for us and show us the results. So it's exciting. <coughs> I need a, whoops. I just dropped something. I just need a quick drink, my... Oh. Um, yes, you can do, actually, even on this hoop, I'm quite certain I could have done two. And I would, you can uh, color code it, um, color organize it, either in your software, your embroidery software, or if you have like a McDreamy or something like that, and you have that capability, you can do that. So then you're doing all your trimming at once, you're doing all your, you know, black stitching that sort of thing so yeah Ooh, I'm liking the purple change I'm liking it so yeah you can do you can you can do them or you can even do them one and one and one just make them fit it works what do you think Don you liking it I like it looks good I think that I orange like looks that's the nice thing about these you don't have to use the color codes that we have for the thread you can change them and do whatever you want you can do material or whatever you want I really dislike this yeah, it's, it's almost done though so hang in there McDreamy yeah I'm liking the purple so that is part of being creative is you can just make changes on the fly so I really liked how the purple writing looked and I thought let's bring it in bring more purple we need more purple so, <laughs> oh, Karina says, I'm really looking forward to doing the stitching and sewing for you. Well, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that, Karina, because I did part of one and my sewing skills, I'm working on it. I'm getting it for the quilting. It's just practice, that sort of thing. But these ones are over my head. However, the designs are stunning. So I'm excited to see them. It's it's going to be cool. Look at the purple. Look at the purple. Can you switch cameras needle to the cam. needle cam just for a sec so they can see the purple better? I'm holding it. It's doing nice long satin stitches. Did you switch? Yeah, there's delay. Oh. There you can. Oh, I guess you can't see it any better. Yeah, you kind of can. Colors are nice and bright and lovely, aren't they? Yet the needle cam is almost a perfect view, I think. Just maybe the shaking. Maybe it needs to go up a little bit more, too. Oh, I don't know. That's a lovely purple. Yes, Abby, it's a lovely purple. It probably won't shake much now because it's going slow. Yeah, I just like that view. And yes, I have a camera attached to the inside of McDreamy, just if anyone's wondering. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Lovely purple. But see, just because it says it, I mean, and this is our creation, but just because it says a back black outline doesn't mean that you can't change it. And you can even do it on a 10 needle machine you just use the magic wand and you pick another color that's on your machine i do it not all the time but i do it when it strikes me like this one now the purple is gonna stand out and i love it so we've got black we've got purple and we've got orange and it's fantastic and the orange looks like a sunset it's kind of bright isn't it i I just love the Halloween colors. However, Halloween is almost upon us. I hope everyone's ready. And make sure he doesn't hit the camera. Yep. Here you go, boy. Go lie down, Biggs. Um, what was I saying? You interrupted me, Beagle. Beagle juice. Darn Beagle. Darn Beagle. Oh, he's so sweet. He's such a sweet boy. My Beagle. 
Uh, I was going to say uh, Christmas. Wait, wait until we start working on Christmas because I love Christmas just as much as Halloween. I'm not sure what I love so much about Halloween. I'm not really a dark person or anything, but the colors, the fun, you know, what it means to kids, what it meant to my kids. My kids are older now. However, we all still dress up because, yeah, why not? I tend to bow out because in Canada, Halloween is cold and raining or snowing, so it really kind of sucks. Yeah. You know you're a Canadian when you design your child's Halloween outfit to fit over their snowsuit. True story. True story. I'm not even joking. Not it's even true story. <laughs> the Norseman. Oh, Don has backup. Don has backup. Well, he's here. Better late than never. The purple and black. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why I decided to change last minute. I wonder. Put more light on it. I, it, the bobbin color is white um, because I was having a tension problem and I wasn't sure if it was the bobbin. So that was the first thing I checked and I just changed it. So like I said, if I was stitching this out just normally, I would have stopped and fixed it. I would not have continued stitching. So we're, it's not, it doesn't seem to be doing McDreamy any damage. So this is a bookmark. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now I forgot to uh, let you guys know about the ribbon, the ribbon here. Yeah, so. It, I think Charlene, sorry, was probably making reference to the incorrect title. Duh. That bugs me. <laughs> Literally an hour now you setting it up. Spend two hours changing it after we're done. I know. I know. Sorry, I know. Charlene. I'll get it fixed so when you guys look for it again, you can. Anyways, so the ribbon. If you want to put a ribbon in it, the time to do it was when we were putting our backing on. So while you have your hoop upside down um, and you're putting the backing on, I just slipped the ribbon in and I put a little piece of tape here to secure it. Let's see. Put a little tape here to secure it and then it just stitches over it and it holds it in but i didn't do that this time for no reason oh my hands in the way <laughs> it's kind of hard it's not like i have a whole lot of space hey don's don's giving me a heart well which camera are you on <laughs> don <laughs> well i'm at this camera oh my goodness Let's do that. Now you switched it. <laughs> I just did. Done. <laughs> Done. Sorry about the view. It's Don's fault. It's Don's fault. All right. So we have one step left. I'm so excited. One step left in it. And I think. I have. Can you give me a hand here, Don? Yeah. We just got to pause for just a quick second. I got the monofilament thread out. I know you guys can. Well, what's it hooked on back there? Dun dun. It's all quiet. Sorry about that. You can't even see the thread that I'm holding. So that should fix it up. So, all right. You can probably just pull it out or cut it and we'll deal with it after. Thank you. All right. Problem solved. Now we are going to do the cool part, which looks awesome in just about any color that you do. And it's fun. This is my favorite part. So yeah, you can see I have a little bit of tension problems, but we know, we know why now. So let's thread this baby up and do the final part so that then we can go, yay. So needle down and go. And this end is just um, like a 
motif stitch, which you guys know I love. Yeah, I am so glad I did the purple. That's really nice. That's really nice. You two are so funny. Yeah, I know. Yeah, why don't you leave that title up? Try <laughs> we work together and live together and everything and we have since the day we met so it's been like 10 years every day and that's why we joke around like that that's why we joke around we're we're fun you're so funny don make her work for the spotlight fame oh thanks norseman thanks i think i gotta teach everyone how to pick on don better it's awesome. So I'm reading here, Jacqueline Smith. Oh, I'm so looking forward to Christmas. I've just become a grandma. Oh, congratulations. So to a beautiful girl, so many things I could sew for her. We're going to have fun for Christmas. Now I'm switching over to my desk because we are done. We are done. So look how great that looks isn't that amazing there we go isn't that amazing with the purple and then the black let me hold it up so you guys can get a closer view hopefully hopefully yeah looks good looks good isn't that stunning now i had white bobbin because i was having troubles but them bones in the this would be black and that would be black it would still look good Look at the back of this one done properly with the right bobbin. Look at the back. Isn't that great? So I love how this turned out. I love the color choices that you guys made. And I love the thread colors too. So the last thing we have to do is we're going to cut the water sol soluble stabilizer and you just cut it you know relatively close to the edge but not too close you do not want to cut the threads then all you have to do this part is really easy you don't have to soak the whole thing all you have to do is take you know your finger and some water and if you rub it like this then you can pull it all off and you will have an extremely clean edge on it so yeah other than my tension and it's still not even that bad is it i still i kind of like it it almost looks puffy what do you think don i think it looks awesome i think it looks awesome so that is our awesome bookmark and i'm going to set up everything for next week for our ghost guard patch and we're going to be stitching out a patch and it looks amazing don did a few different colors and again, we will do uh, another giveaway and we will um, work on this patch. So let me look. What are people saying? The last stitching would be cool with glow in the dark thread. You are correct, Abby. That would look awesome. Even the writing too. Um, the only downfall I think is that glow in the dark thread isn't usually in bright colors but it would still look cool so patch um thanks for everyone watching we have 62 people in the house i am duly impressed i am really happy with that i hope you guys have so much fun stitching i can't wait to see your fabric and your thread color combinations um in the group so join the group i also one last thing i just want to show you guys oh, stop it. my nails well what do you mean they're <laughs> halloween there's dem bones right there on that one and then there's skulls here it's hard to see them i guess that looks freaky i don't like how that looks but anyways so just for fun don't give me a hard time man i did no no so i look forward to you guys uh thanks for joining us thanks for watching thanks for helping out the channel we can make it go far and wide and i'm so excited about every day that this gets bigger and bigger so thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye. everyone bye